In the spirit of Hispanic Heritage Month, we went on the road to Nick's Garden Center and Farm Market in Aurora, Colorado to share a story of a family business, culture, and generational history. Founded in 1987, Nick started the Garden Center at the site of an old gas station called Bob's Place at 300 South Colorado Boulevard in Glendale, Colorado. Nick Ortega and his three children transformed a once abandoned gas station into a thriving garden center after only a couple years in business. Along with offering quality plants and garden products in the years to come, Nick's became far more than just a garden center. Nick's quickly became a favorite amongst locals. With the summer ending and the fall approaching, Nick continued changing the store with seasons and the seeds for Fall Fest were planted. This Fall Fest continues today and has grown to include a tractor ride, bounce house, straw maze, and much more. The fall season in Colorado is a customer favorite and allows family to enjoy throughout the year. Join me now as we visit Nick's Garden Center for their Chili Fall Fest. Let's get started in Nick's Cafe. Hola and welcome to Lindita's Kitchen on the road at Nick's Garden Center and at Nick's Cafe. And I'm here with Velia Torres. Yes. Hola prima, ¿cómo está? Bien, gracias. Hi. And we're making yeah. some chile rellenos. Crispy chile rellenos. Crispy. Yes, yeah, they're pretty easy to make. Yeah. A little different than the other ones. Okay, because you know I usually make them with the with you know with the batter. Yes, and, and this is takes longer, but this is pretty easy and takes short time. <laughs> okay, so hey, let's get started, sister. Okay, okay. let okay. me show you. We're gonna start with the egg roll wrap. Oh, easy. Yeah, and you can buy this in the grocery store. Any, any yeah, any yeah. grocery store, and I usually any. see it in the like by the fruits and yes, vegetables. Yeah, vegetables. Okay, yes. and we need chili. Ooh la la. <laughs> This is already And this peeled. is clean, obviously. This is clean, yes. yes. Without skin. We need flour, onion, and cheese. <laughs> this time I'm going to use this cheese, but you can use any and kind of cheese. cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're using the Colby in this one, right? Colby, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay. that's easy. So in the end, we use lettuce and tomatoes when we already enjoy that. Okay, <laughs> when we're ready to plate it, we'll yes. put that on there, okay? Andale, okay, let's we're going to start with the egg roll wrap. Okay. And this is the chili, ready, clean. We open uh -huh. the chili and take out a little bit of seeds. Okay. And then we're going to put the onion. This is your choice. If okay. you don't like See, onion. See, I love onion, yes. so I would add more. Yes, a little more. Right. Mm -hmm. We put the cheese, a pinch of salt, and we start rolling. And we're gonna need a little drop of water just to... Just to seal it. Yes, exactly. Okay. And the flour in the end. And that makes it crispy. Crispy, exactly. Okay. Now we're ready for the deep fryer. Yay, mm -hmm. let's go. Okay. okay. Now it's ready. Three to four minutes to get golden brown and it's ready to enjoy. Okay. Okay, this is the color. It's ready to eat. Crispy, oh brown, gold. Uh huh. And we are gonna smother with the green chili. Okay. Aye, you can aye, use aye. your favorite choice or your recipe. Yeah, I like mine hot. Is that really hot? No, it's medium hot. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. this is good. Lettuce and tomato. Mira, look how and beautiful is that. Oh, wow. So, you know, again, you know, you learned this recipe here, right? Yes, they show me the recipe and for the green chili, too. At Nick's Cafe. Nick's Cafe. So, you know what? And you said something earlier, you know, if you want to get these chile rianos and, of course, your green chili, you need to get down here to Nick's Garden Center and get your roasted green chilies and do this wonderful recipe. And if you don't have time, come down here and visit Velia and um, have some green chilies as well. Some yes. chile rellenos <laughs> made right here in the cafe. Thank you again for joining us at Lindita's Kitchen on the road. And and then vamos a comer. Right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Now, wasn't that a wonderful chile relleno recipe? 
Hey, let's go join Rich Ortega and roast some chilies. Welcome to Nick's Garden Center. My name is Richard Ortega. Welcome to our family owned and operated farm market here. As you can see, this is a season where we're selling lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, and the time is right to go over to our chili booth and roast up some good Colorado chili. So what we have here is a bushel of chili ready to get roasted. What we do is we rinse the chili, take off any debris, but what it does also is before we put it in the hopper, the chili roaster, it gives it a nice little wet uh, uh, touch here so that it blisters really nice in the roaster. So now that we wash the chili, we put it in the hopper. This is a full bushel of Mirasol chili from Pueblo, Colorado. It's probably our most popular hot chili. It's great for making uh, uh, pork green chili, all your Mexican dishes right there. So it'll roast here probably for about a couple minutes. It'll give it a real nice blister. After that, we're gonna put it in a plastic bag. What that does is it lets it sweat in there for about an hour. So you get a nice roast, it cooks it more. And when you go home and let it thaw, cool down before you put it in the freezer, it gives it a nice, a nice texture. It's ready to put in the Ziploc bags and ready to freeze them all winter long. We've learned so much about Nick's Garden Center. You shared the wonderful history, and I knew your dad as well. I just love him and miss him. And, you know, got to just walk around these beautiful, look at this, the colors and the aromas. In the kitchen was awesome, making chile rellanos. And you even roasted some chilies for us. Well, we always say we like to turn and burn this time of year. <laughs> turn and burn. So how long does this season go till, you know, the, the chili roasting? Well, chili roasting will, will continue through the end of September, probably into the first, second week of October, weather permitting. So yeah. you still got time to come on down. Oh, yay. So, you know, with that, what's going to be happening for the rest of the season? Well, Nick's, you know, we're all about different events throughout the season. Uh, our next event is our giant pumpkin way off, uh, Saturday, October 3rd. At that time, we'll still be doing chili, but this whole place transforms into... Uh, a big fall festival uh, for the whole community, uh, family and friends. You're going to have some music here too as well. We'll have some live music uh, October 3rd. Also, the biggest thing is our giant pumpkin weigh-off. Right. There's going to be some pumpkins here that weigh over a thousand pounds. One of the biggest weigh-offs uh, in the nation is here. Yeah, this is this is huge. It is. And then we got Halloween coming around the corner, right? Hall Halloween uh, every day starting the first uh, week in October uh, through Halloween. Uh, bring the family, the kids. Uh, we got concessions, we have uh, activities for the kids, obviously hundreds of tons of pumpkins to choose from, the corn stalks, the straw, the beautiful pansies, all the fall Woo! flowers. So uh, yeah, we, we keep the holidays rolling here. Well, yay. <laughs> well, you know, thank you again for, for sharing the history and, and Nick's Garden Center and everything that's happening. And uh, again, thank you for joining me at Lindita's Kitchen on the road. Right. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you.